Good day, folks. So yesterday I was out prospecting and uh, it was a struggle. Let me show you a quick clip of that and then we're gonna get to what we're doing today. Hope you enjoy. This place is a mess. That's a good 80, 90 feet right there. Oh, it's a tough day. Now, back to today. So I'm back at the spot I was at last episode, and the little trench that I had filled in. We had one storm that had a lot of rain. I gotta dig it back out and see what we find. There's a lot more downed trees since I was here last. So I literally don't even recognize this place right now from what it was uh, when I was here three weeks ago. The trench that I was digging was right there. It's all filled in. So I gotta poke around and figure out where to begin. Well, another clean out, no gold. So I'm switching to this spot right here, right after this boulder. You can see up there where the clay, last time I was here, that clay came down. It's all carved out. So I wanna see if something came up and over here. The goal has turned into just find one piece of gold, just to see if it's still here. I almost fell over when this was in the pan. Piece of pyrite, very shiny. There's a little tiny piece of gold. So I'm on the board. This is my little trench. The trench runs that way. And as you can see, the gold trap's right there. And all the stuff that comes out of the gold trap, I'm just shoveling it over into a tailings pile over there. So where all this clay is in the slope, I just rode that down and the bottom of the trench is all clay. So I'm just riding the top of the clay and dumping it right in. Another clean out, one little tiny, tiny piece. I'm gonna keep digging though, having fun. It snows and then it's sunny and then it snows. It's about 38, 40 degrees out, it's not bad. It's clay everywhere.
So here's a piece about 30 mesh. Biggest piece of the day. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get out of here. So I spent all day digging a trench and I was on top of clay, two fly poops, and a 30 mesh piece. So it's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> Hold the presses. Before I usually leave a spot, I like to go scout around. I've been looking for bedrock on this brook the whole time, the last four or five times I've been here. I finally found some bedrock. This looks amazing. <laughs> this looks good. This looks really good. Look at this. Sight. So I thought this day was gonna be over. I'm gonna be here a little bit longer. Where the bedrock comes down right here, I did just a couple shovelfuls in a pan. Two small little specks. This place has potential. I mean, that was one little tiny test pan. Just, and that was right off the surface. I'm gonna be here for a little bit. I just did a clean out, it's five bits. I ran about, I don't know, six shovelfuls for the gold trap. Last pan. I'm finding more pieces in the last 40 minutes here than I found all day. Crazy. So here's the gold that I found from all day digging <laughs> on top of that clay, literally. Two little fly poops and about a 30 mesh piece. And then in about 40 minutes time, when I found that bedrock uh, when I was hiking out of there, I just decided to go scout around a corner I have not been over to yet. And that was about 40 minutes to find that. So it's it's pretty clear where I'm going next time I go out prospecting. So another thing I want to talk about real quick is pyrite. So I'm seeing a lot of posts on Facebook when people who are new to prospecting are asking, is this gold? Pyrite is on the right. That's gold on the left. If you're new to prospecting and you don't have, you know, acid kits, you don't have unglazed porcelain streak plates to test, grab a coffee mug, flip it upside down. In the center is glazed, but that outer rim is all unglazed porcelain. You can 
can see right there, there's a black streak. That's from that piece of pyrite. But I'm gonna show you too real quick. So here's the pyrite. I put it on top. See that black line? That's how you know. So cheap way, it works. If you wanna buy some streak plates, probably a better bet. You'll always have them, you can clean them right off, and you can bring them out in the field with you too. Thanks for watching, be well.